Hi, my name is Zach. I'm one of the academic advisors. Today we're going to show you how to add and drop a course. The add and drop process um, begins on Wednesday, September 2nd, which is the first day of classes and runs for the first five days of the term um, and ends on Thursday, September 10th. After Thursday the 10th, you will not be able to add or drop any courses. So if you want to make any changes to your schedule, this is the week to do that. Um, this video will show outline the steps on how to add and drop a course. If you have any further questions, please contact your academic advisor. Um, we all have extra walk-in hours throughout the week, um, so feel free to stop by, see what our walk-in hours are, or simply send us an email. So, I'll share my screen here and we'll go through the steps of how to add and drop a course. So here, first thing you want to do, log into my SNU, click the students tab, um, make sure you're not on the orientation tab and actually on the students tab. Um, you have this link on the left, which is search and register for courses. So that's where you would begin. Um, if you have any questions on seeing your entire schedule, please see our class schedule tutorial, which is another video we posted a couple weeks ago, um, especially for our School of Business students who may be in eight week courses, which is the DY terms um, that have the process. So be sure to see your entire schedule before you make changes to that. So we're going to click search and register for classes. We get to a screen that looks like this. Can be a little overwhelming. There's a lot going on here. Um, just the only things you're going to use is the term, subject, and course number. Don't worry about course level or section. Don't really use that unless in specific circumstances. So the term we're looking at is 15 FA day, which is the fall term. Um, if you are in any eight week courses, you will need to see your academic advisor to change around that course. You will not be able to change that course on your own um, because it could set you behind um, as far as moving forward and graduating within the three or four years. So we're gonna try and add a course here um, where going to try and add an environmental management course, which is a course that is open right now. So we'll type environmental studies and the course number is 100. No need to worry about any of these or anything down here. You can simply ignore that. We'll hit submit. And that's going to pop up all the available sections here. Okay. On the left here, you got the term. You want to make sure you're in the right term, which is the 15 slash 16 fall 2015 undergrad term. If you're in any other term, it won't let you register. So just double check that. You got some course information here. Make sure the location is always Manchester, New Hampshire. Um, and then some course information, the meeting time, professor, and the available capacity. So the available capacity is important. Um, the number available is always on the left hand side and the total number of people in the class is always on the right hand side so for example this class has one spot left out of 30. okay so there are 29 people in the class and therefore there are one there's one spot left whereas this course has 12 spots left okay so let's say this course monday thursday um, works with our schedule we'll just simply check this box and if you do want to see um, a course description, you would just select, click this blue link here. It gives you the course description, the start date, um, information, location, and professor. Um, one thing with my SNU is you need to check, um, treat it like internet tabs. If you hit the back button, you're going to go straight to the home page and potentially lose everything you did here. You got two tabs up here. You just X out like you were doing internet tabs. So like we said, we like this class. Let's check this class and hit submit. Once you hit submit, you have not fully registered for the course. Um, you've added it to what we call your preferred list or what we commonly refer to as your shopping cart. Okay, so we've done this a couple times. Um, you can add multiple courses to your shopping cart or preferred list and try and register for them or have them all be options. So this is the screen where you actually register for the courses. So if we scroll down to ENV 100, we'll get this option. We've got register, audit, remove from list, and wait list. In the undergrad school, we only use register and remove from list. If you do audit or wait list, you will simply get an error message. 
So say we want to register. Um, remove from list is say you add all these courses and you don't need them anymore. So this English to Laundry course, say we don't want that in our shopping cart anymore. We'll hit register and remove from list. If you scroll down, you have your current registrations. That's going to be your full schedule. Um, and then we will hit submit. It may take a while um, as there's a lot of people on the system. Uh, what this is telling us is NV100 has been taking one time already. Um, so, and it, this is your confirmation screen. It's removed, removed English from our preferred section and it registered us for ENV100. Okay, so that's how you add a class. Um, please always add before dropping. Um, if you drop a class and you want to get back in it, it may be impossible as a class may fill up. Um, if you do find a class is full and you would really like to get in that class, you can email the professor and see if they'll let you overcap into that course. Not all professors do. If they do allow that, you'll need to fill out an add drop form, which you can find in the academic advising office and get the professor's signature on that. So now we'll show you how to drop a course. Um, let's go back to the students tab. So on the left hand side, you got two things for registration, search and register for courses and manage my registration. So search and register is just what we went through. You register for courses, you search to see which courses you'd like. Manage my registration is kind of managing your shopping cart and your current courses. So we're going to go ahead and click that. That's going to get us back to the same screen we we're just at, which is our shopping cart or preferred list and then our current registrations. Okay. You can add and drop at the same time using this screen. We highly recommend adding and dropping at the same time um, to replace one course with the other. Um, also, please do not drop below 12 credits as if you drop below 12 credits, you will not be considered a full-time student and will have run into some issues with housing and financial aid. So let's say we want to register for this English 200 course. Um, we'll hit register and then we want to drop this other ENV100 course um, right here. We would register, click register, click under drop here, and then simply hit submit. And then you it may take a while as you have a lot of people on the system and then you may get some error messages here. Okay, so for example, this English 200 course, it's a clo it's closed, there's no more open spots. You need to be registered for 15 credits, which we are not, or you need to have achieved 15 credits. Um, and then if you do get any error messages and have any questions about the error message, please see your academic advisor or send us an email. Um, there are some specific sections out there that are reserved for um, certain populations of students, and we'll go over that as well. Um, but this is your confirmation. It has registered us for English 200 and it's dropped from ENV 100. Okay. And then you always want to check your class schedule. So if you go back to the students tab and go to my class schedule, the term again is what we were searching for 15 fall day. Please note school of business students who are in either one or two other terms. Um, please see our my class schedule tutorial. For more information on that, this is how you would double check your updated schedule. As you see, we're in English 200 and ENV 100. What I'm going to do now is go back to search and register and point out some courses that um, students would not be able to register, register for and are for our specific populations. So example I'm going to use under 15 fall day is going to be Intro to Psychology, which is Psych 108. Um, we'll hit Submit here. We scroll down here, all the way down towards the end. We have a course here that has the LNCOM prefix. That's our learning community that's reserved for a specific group of incoming students. If you're not in that group, you will not be able to register for this course and you will get an error message. If you get an error message, this is why. Um, another example is um, 
this course. So you got Psych 108, and then you got this long, what we call the section number here. Any section number that begins with 1-7 is reserved for our three-year honor students. If you are not a three-year honor student, you will not be able to register for this course, um, and we'll get an error message as well. Again, if you have any questions on the error messages, feel free to reach out to your academic advisor. Um, it's always best to stop by walk-in hours. Um, it's a little easier for us to work with the students one-on-one -on -one than it is to work with email. Um, and again, we have extended walk-in hours um, this week as well as early next week until the end of the ad drop period, which is September 10th. So, um, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to either your academic advisor or you have a peer advising leader linked to your SNHU 101 or SB 200 course if you're a degree in three student. Um, and we hope to see you and enjoy your first week of classes.